off stage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the thing about Pokemon Trainer is if you start off the first stock, if you start out uh, with a lot of percentage on Squirtle, then you're kind of in a tricky spot. You have to make a decision. Do I switch characters? Do I stick with Squirtle? Because a a another hit could kill me. But at the same time, um, if I switch to uh, Ivasaur, my damage output is not going to be as good. It's going to make it harder for me to come back. All right. Let's, okay. There we go. I think uh, in this game, Gandor thrives off of tech chase scenario, uh, scenarios. Situ scenarios. Excuse me. It's a new one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was in, I, was, in I was in between situations and scenarios, and I was like, I don't know what to say. But oh my god. No, I think that's going to be like 2025. Everybody's going to be saying that. You're just. They're not ready for for that yet. All right. But a <laughs> clean up smash covers all the. Oh no. Oh. He really oh let him do that to him. <laughs> I mean that's a that's a victory in my book. Like as a Ganondorf, it's like, all right, I already got two stocks off, and it's like one minute has passed. Like sure, I'll I'll trade that stock any day if that means I don't have to deal with Squirtle for another stock. So here we oh, go. Yeah. Last stock scenario already for Illa. Got to make something happen here, and already 23% off of one down air. Yeah, these. I mean, Ganon has so much damage. These hits uh, that Ganon's gonna be getting are just so huge. And already switching out to the Ivasaur, yeah, I guess because he's off stage, mm -hmm. that down air is just so good at making. Get hard for Ganondorf to get back. All right, big opportunity. The DI's in on the Vine Whip, a little bit of an awkward angle. Doesn't quite go for it. And that's a. No, it's not. It's not a stock yet. No, Switches to the Charizard, actually. I'm a little surprised by that. But there we go. I'll smash out of Shield to be able to cover the roll. Very nice. Now we got a 1 1 stock situation. Illa turned up after that second stock said, Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm on last stock. All right, let me show you what I got. Yeah, and a huge combo coming in from Illa. He just, yeah. he just poor, did poor 60 Ganondorf. damage to this man. Try to keep up the control there. Didn't. That's one of those awkward situations. Like, do I switch the Ivysaur or do I just try and commit to this portal? Like, what's the right situation here? Didn't quite go for the right one there in that scenario, but you know what? Hindsight's always 20 20. But he's got another opportunity here. Air dodge back to the stage. No tech chase off with that F tilt, but he's still got great control. Switching to the Ivysaur now. Goes super deep for the edge guard. Oh. Not even for the dare either. And there we go. That's and it. That Wow. After a shaky start from Illa, he just all of a sudden brought it back. And that's what I'm talking about. Bad <laughs> matchups all around for Ganondorf. Like, every Pokemon contributed to the fall of this Dark Lord. And we got to go to game two and see what happens next. Yeah, I mean, that was crazy. Illa there basically went from... He took 40 damage to take both of those stocks. Yeah. I think, in, especially in that last stock, he, Lord Bahamut didn't even play neutral that entire time. He was just corner carrying. Took him to the other side. Ivysaur, <laughs> do his thing. Goodbye. That was it. But here we go. Let's see if uh, he gets a second chance here. Already getting grabbed by Squirtle, but fortunately he's near the edge of the stage, so that combo is going to end. Oh, but this one's going to be a little longer. Killa is not going to drop it. All right. Spot dodge getting punished again. Yeah, that really sucks when you're fighting against a nymph. Oh, and he's just he's, dead. He's just dead. <laughs> He couldn't do anything about that. That was very nice from Illa. Decided to go in deep. He noticed the first time in that first game that he couldn't quite go far enough with the water gun, so he just went off stage for it. And that was a great adjustment to his game plan there. And somehow that up smash missing, I, I think maybe Squirtle's just small hurt box there really helped him out there. Yeah, I think it was like timing, uh, the hurt box, and everything. So Lord Bahamut's trying to turn up here again, but and it's just difficult because with your burst options, trying to go against a nimble character like Squirtle. You can definitely hit or miss on that. It's like that again, too. Yeah. He's been trying to go in for Wizard's Foot or uh, Flame Choke, but both times Squirtle's either just dashing back. He's too fast, not going to be able to get caught by that, and Lord Bahamut can't find anything. Tech chase situation, tech away again. You can react to all options of Flame Choke, but you have to be ready for it, and he wasn't ready for that one. He's going off of guesses this time. And again, he keeps going for tech roll away, and Lord Bahamut's not going for it. He doesn't believe. Saving that up his sleeve, dude, maybe. Yeah, it was like, he won't go for tech roll away for the fifth time in a row. <laughs> yeah, you see that uh, Lord Bahamut just uh, standing uh, short hop na uh, nairing, and it just goes right over Illa. Oh, there we go. we go, yeah. Big Every time damage. he's going away, there was only one time he went inward, and that was to avoid like the very close quarter uh, tech roll away scenario. Gives him enough time to react. Very nice. There we go. Gets the nair back. Gets the aggressive option on stage with that razor lead. 
nice side B. Now Lord Bahamut's in a bad spot. He's about to get knocked off stage, and it just could be, he just could die right here. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, but it's smart recovery. Oh, up. Re yeah, regrab, very unfortunate. He just had to go for the kill. Off stage there. Yeah, not quite. How'd you get through? Okay, you got the parry. Oh, what's the ah, black spot? Attack confirmed there. Ah, uh, really going deep with those combos. Great oh. great situational awareness, too, from Ella knowing that, okay, I'm stuck on the platform now. He could up smash me. So he gets his shield up. Get 24% off of it. And now he's got Squirtle to start off a new combo here. Yeah. Let's actually get an edge guard. I mean, I, if Ella, I'm already thinking about switching to Ivasaur. Um, like that. Um, and now go. he's going on to Charizard. I mean, it's worked out for him in the past, but it seems like uh, the Squirtle and Ivasaur matchups are worse for Ganon. Looks like he's going right back to Squirtle and Ivasaur. He's switching so many times. All right, extends the hurtbox there. All right, decides to go a little bit more safe. Yeah, ah, that wizard's foot. I just feel so bad that every, it's like one of those things where he gets blown up for it every time, but then it's like, okay, this time he won't expect it, but yeah. they keeps expecting it. It's just not the right distance. It gives him enough time to react, and he can get a dash back out of it, and then gets a punish off of it. And now we got Charizard. Probably looking like game over here unless Lord Bahama can make something happen. He's got Charizard know. at the ledge. Gonna have to go for... Okay. Will that do it? That will do, do it. Never mind. Wow. Yeah. Some uh, some elements of Captain Falcon I see there. Yeah, Lord just catches him shielding at the ledge there. And uh, that was close enough for him to die. Yeah. Definitely kept things a little too close there for, for Lord Bahamut though. I think Illa was mostly in control of the match. It was just those few scenarios where Lord Bahama woke up and said, wait a minute, I am actually getting blown up right now. So when I'm going to win this neutral exchange, and I'm going to take you to 80. So that was his saving grace. So if he doesn't get his punish game on point, if he doesn't read tech chases like he did the last game, then it's going to be game over. Yeah. I almost feel like why even switch to Charizard in this matchup? Uh, it just seems like, you know... When you see Tweak play this character, he almost never uses Charizard. And I feel like this matchup especially, uh, Ganondorf just struggles so much. Like, none of his moves hit Squirtle. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I remember Pandarian told me, like, if Squirtle can kill you, then there's a there's a big problem. So it's already like a 70-30 matchup, he said. So well, I don't know if it's, that's still true. I mean, I, I'd imagine it is just because Squirtle's such a hard character to hit sometimes because of his size. I think he's dead. Oh no, he, we don't low here, he'll be okay. So never mind. I, I thought I thought he was dead if he executed that water gun right, but he didn't quite yet. There we go, there's a Nair, another uh, saving grace that uh, Charizard got at this patch. Oh, okay, very nice, wave land back onto the stage. Oh, oh switch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll to go for it. Avoid the F smash. I mean, yeah. yeah, it gets off of, oh, that almost hit. That did almost hit, actually, but uh, not quite yet. I, I like the awareness to try to use the platform, but not quite there. Yeah, I don't know why uh, El uh, Lord Bahama went for it, though, because he still wouldn't have killed uh, from that center, that part of the stage. Jesus, that shield pressure. There we go, he's got another opportunity. Charges it fully, and the shield stun and, and push away, or the knockback on it, made it so uh, uh, Ila could not punish. Okay, Bahamut going for a lot of crazy yeah. options right now. You know, sometimes that's just the life of a Ganondorf main. It's like, you know what, I already played Ganondorf, I got nothing to lose, I'm on stream right now, might as well go for this style here in game three, pump myself back up. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. He's still got two stocks to work with, so let's see if Lord Bahamut can try to clean his act up back up. Clean his act up, yeah. That's, that's one way to put it. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gonna quite happen though, I mean, Illa already bringing him. Oh! <laughs> that fire kill, too. <laughs> That's the scary part. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, that one up tilt, I think, was kind of his uh, downfall here in this game. So, unless he can wake up and bring three stocks back, then we're looking at Illa moving on in the bracket here. Yeah, Illa doing a great job. He's, he's not gotten hit by, like you said, any of these wizard foots. He's shielded, he's just played outside of the range so well. Oh, that Nair didn't do it yet. Okay, player plays back to stage. How does he get around these Nairs? Just like that. Uh, weak, but even weak back here did it. And oh, there's the spike. the spike. Three stock for Illa there. Oh, Lord Bahama was trying so hard to swag, and he got swagged on at the end. I'm telling you, man, 70-30 matchup. Like, that is, not, that is not 